I'm CD with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to remodel your staircase on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> All right, gang, so a few tools you're gonna need for this project. Um, some sort of mask or respirator. It's always good to have something like this to keep the dust and the debris out of your lungs. Obviously, with 2024, we wanna be safe and we also wanna be healthy, so keep that in mind. Gloves, gloves are always good for any type of DIY project. Um, obviously, you could go without gloves. You'd get the nice working hands, if you will. Uh, but I like to use gloves, especially when I'm ripping out carpet. Some sort of blade or scraper uh, you never know you're trying to cut down some of the carpet and then trash bag obviously you want to dispose of that trash hammer is always good and then a pry bar so i'm going to start uh, pulling back this carpet yanking it out of here getting it out of here cleaning everything up the shop back too will help a lot to clean up the stairs um, clearly millie is very excited to get this project started so with that i'm gonna Get started. So we have officially removed all of the carpet. We have a fresh slate somewhat. The next tedious, probably the most tedious process is gonna to be to go through, it's way out of focus. Learn how to use the camera, CJ. And remove all these staples, see if there's any other nails that are poking up. I would recommend needle nose pliers. So I got one size there, another size here. And I'm just gonna put them in this plastic container and dispose of them. But this will probably be the tedious part, and then we're going to shop back everything, have a nice clean slate, and then from there, we're going to figure out how we want it to look, and go from there. So stay tuned for the rest of the build, guys. All right, so we have officially removed all of the staples, all of the old carpet out of the stairs, and essentially, I'm going to be making a trip to the big box store to pick up my supplies. We're going to need some... Uh, risers as well as the treads one thing to note out here is there is this overhang on the treads so I'm gonna have to actually go ahead and cut that flush so I'll be getting out the circular saw <coughs> maybe the jigsaw to get that going um, but essentially there's a I want to say it's like a half inch or a quarter inch overhang there and we're gonna just rip that off to get it very flush ain't that right Millie so stay tuned for that
All right, so working on this step project here, I just wanted to walk you through my thought process on this. And I don't know if this is 100% the way to do it. Obviously, it's a DIY project, so there's tons of ways to do it. Um, I watched a couple different videos, and I'll have them linked down below on their method, and I kind of took mul multiple methods to do this. But essentially what I'm, what I'm doing here, we'll get it in focus, so we have, uh, essentially I'm gonna be replacing the uh, treads and the risers, and what I do to remove this, hopefully this is helpful and it's not super shaky if anyone does go to do this, I measure underneath here to see what it is. Typically it's around seven eighths or an inch, and then from there I'll take that measurement here, and then I will mark it. Obviously that's why you, I have those, these lines here, right? From there I'll take my circular saw, and I'll do a plunge cut down into it, rip it as far as I can across, and then I will actually take my jigsaw to where I can get to the end here, and I'll get to right about the edge, and then from there, I'll finish it off with the oscillating tool. And that has been doing really well to pop all these off to make them as flush as possible. Um, so it seems to be working well. Obviously, leave some comments below if there's more efficient ways to do this, but this is how I've been doing it. So stay tuned for the rest of the build. I think this is gonna be great because I hated the ugly carpet on these stairs. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. All right, so we officially have removed all of the carpet on the stairs. We cut back those round overs to give us a nice clean finish. And I have all the supplies. So today we're gonna to start remodeling these steps. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. And I'm gonna show you some of the materials that I got here that are involved with this project. Again, this is very DIY friendly, so stay tuned for the rest of the build. All right, don't mind the mess here, but essentially I have all the materials below here. I have a stair tread jig, I have my treads. I actually have the got these reversible risers too as well. One side's white, the other side is oak. Um, these were picked up from Lowe's, the treads were picked up from Home Depot. We have our liquid nails, and then I also have my paint and primer. So first step we're gonna do here is we're gonna attach together this stair tread jig, start to get our measurements for the side. I actually, I'm gonna have to cut off some of this too with the table saw. Um, so again, this is a pretty tedious process, but it's very DIY friendly and very easy to do. Um, again, I've never done steps. I'm not someone that's like a incredibly talented DIY person, but this just goes to show you that with a little bit of research uh, via YouTube or, or Google, you can do this project to yourself. So let's dive into it. All right, so I'm sure there's a ton of videos on the internet on how to actually set up this jig, but essentially what you're gonna wanna do here is take a one by two and cut it to the desired length, um, and then you're gonna hand tighten these on each side, and then essentially you're just gonna slide it in to your current treads, and you'll go ahead and mark this on your new treads to get the correct measurement. So I'm gonna start marking out some of my treads. I'm gonna label them all here so I have the best measurements I can. Um, that's essentially where I'm gonna start and I'm gonna go from there.
All right, so we have officially cut a majority of the treads. I have them dry fitted right now. I have each of them numbered because I'm going to be painting them. I will tell you what, without the stair jig, you're not going to have an easy time measuring the steps. Even with the jig, there's still some gaps on each side. However, wood does expand due to heat and cold, right? But I can also just fill that in with some caulk. Obviously, <laughs> not a professional, but I will say, so far I'm happy with the, the treads. I'll have links down in the descriptions below to the ones that I picked up. Um, but yeah, so far I am very happy with how this turned out. So stay tuned for the rest of the builds. We have a couple more dry fits to do and then we're gonna start with the risers here. I have the risers right there. So we will figure that out shortly. All right, what is up guys? CJ here with Starter Builds, working on this stair renovation remodel. And currently just did my first coat of primer here. We're doing it with this Kills All Purpose. This was recommended from the guy at Lowe's. Uh, right now we have one coat on here. He put it in this gray, because I'm gonna be painting these black. Um, I'm not an expert painter, so leave a comment below if you know why he gave me gray. We have the first coat on, it dries really quickly, so this is where we're at in the process. I'm gonna put another coat on there too as well, and then we'll actually get into the paint. I got this Valspar porch floor and patio, is recommended again from Lowe's. It's gonna be in a dark charcoal black, uh, so stay tuned for that process here in a second. I'll have links down in the descriptions below to uh, the paints as well as the treads and the risers, as well as any other links that might be helpful if you do decide to remove your carpet and go ahead and replace your stair treads and risers. I also have links to other videos that I found helpful as far as research. Um, there's tons of great DIYers on YouTube, so I'll link those videos down below. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you. Give this a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and stay tuned for the finished product. All right, so we're still working on the stair project. I actually have the Treads downstairs being painted right now. They're drying. I got the primer as well as the paint on there And now we're going to start to work on the risers here Utilizing that same jig that I had to measure out the treads. I'm going to be doing that for the risers I actually picked up these reversible oak uh, Risers one side's white and the other side is oak. I'm going to be utilizing the white you could see here I just utilized that jig to test fit one Millie you having fun? So I just utilized that jig to test fit one. It's, it works great, highly recommend. I don't know how anyone would be able to measure these stairs without that jig like that. So I'm essentially get all these cut up and then I'm thinking about doing some type of like herringbone design on there. I got that idea from Mr. Build It. I'm sure there's other people on the internet that have done similar, but I like the look. So stay tuned for the rest of the build. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up. It's pretty straightforward. You just utilize that jig. You put it on your full piece here draw your line, make your cut. So stay tuned for the rest of that. Hopefully we can get this finished sooner than later. All right, all right, all right. What's up guys? So I've been super busy at work at my daily corporate nine to five sales job. So I haven't allocated much time to working on these steps, but tonight I have a free night. So I'll be working on them. And as you can see, I'm kind of mapping out what they're going to look like here. We got our blackish gray treads with our white risers still debating on cutting out these geometric shapes but one of the things i'm gonna have to do here in terms of next steps you'll notice if i lip, lift up this tread here there is a overhang on the riser so i'll have to rip that through the table saw get that nice and flush but so far i'm pretty pumped with how this turned out still some stuff to work on but you can kind of get an idea here of what it's going to look like. I just really need to nail down this geometric, I think you call it like herringbone pattern, um, something like that. I don't know if it has a definitive.
here is the final outlook on the steps. You can imagine what it looked like before, during, and after. But all in all, I would say I completed this project in about two weeks, and I think it was around 200 bucks, $200 between the wood and the paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more projects and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.